Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us sweep the question. Which term of the arithmetic progression 21, 18, 15 and so on is minus 81 and we have to find the n. We know that nth term of the arithmetic progression is given by a plus n minus 1 d. We are given that some nth term is minus 81 and we are required to find which n. So let us substitute the values. A n is given as minus 81. A is 21 plus n minus 1 times D is 20, 18 minus 21 which is equal to minus 3. So D is minus 3. Let us solve this equation further. We get minus 81 equal to 24 minus 3n further solving we get minus 105 equal to minus 3n minus gets cancelled and 105 by 3 equal to n so n equal to 35 which implies that the 35th term of the given arithmetic progression is minus 81. Also for this question we have to find out if any term is 0. Let us check out if for any n a n equal to 0. So let us substitute a n equal to a plus n minus 1 d a n equal to 0 a equal to 21 n minus 1 into minus 3 solving further we get 3 times n minus 1 equal to 21 n minus 1 equal to 21 by 3 n equal to 8 implying that the 8th term of given AP is 0. Let us read the question. Determine the arithmetic progression whose third term is 5. And 7th term is 9. In other words, we are given a3 equal to 5 and a7 equal to 9. Let us substitute in the formulas. We have a3 equal to a plus 3 minus 1 d. a3 is given as 5, a plus 2 d. Mark this as equation 1. Similarly, a7 equal to a plus 7 minus 1 d. a7 is given as 9. a plus 6 d. Mark this as equation 2. Now we can solve equation 1 and 2 as a pair of linear equation in two variables. We can subtract equation 1 from equation 2 and get d equal to 1. Now back substitute d equal to 1 in any one of the equations. Say we take equation 1, we get 5 equal to a plus 2 into 1 which gives us a equal to 3. Once we have found out a and d, 
we can write the arithmetic progression as 3 3 plus 1 as d is 1 so the next term is 4 4 plus 1 5 and so on Let us read the question. Check whether 301 is the term of the list of numbers 5, 11, 17, 23 and so on. We start the question by checking whether the given list of numbers is in arithmetic progression. We start with a2 minus a1 is equal to 11 minus 5 which is equal to 6 a3 minus a2 equal to 17 minus 11 which is 6 a4 minus a3 equal to 23 minus 11 sorry 23 minus 17 which is also equal to 6 so we can see as a k plus 1 minus a k is same for all values of k, the given list of numbers is an arithmetic progression and now we know that nth term of the arithmetic progression is given by a plus n minus 1 d. We are asked if 301 is one of these terms. So let us check a is given as 5 n we have to find out and d we have calculated to be 6. This gives us 6n minus 1 n equal to 302 by 6 which is equal to 151 by 3 which is equal to 5.3 bar but n is supposed to be an integer as it represents the number of term. So we say that 301 is not a term of the given list of numbers. Let us read the question. How many two digit numbers are divisible by 3? So we start the solution by listing two digit numbers divisible by 3. First one in line is 12, then 15, then 18, and so on. The last one would be 99. Let us see whether this list of number is in arithmetic progression. We find a2 minus a1, 15 minus 12 equal to 3 a3 three minus a2 18 minus 15 which is also 3 so yes the list of number is in is an arithmetic progression the question is to find how many numbers how many two digit numbers are divisible by 3 the last number is 99 so let us substitute a n equal to 99 and find the value of n which will give us the numbers which are divisible by 3. We have a equal to 12 plus n minus 1 into 3. Solving this further we get 87 equal to 3 into n minus 1 or 87 by 3 equal to n minus 1. So n minus 1 equal to 29 or n equal to 29 plus 1 which is 30. So that means there are 32 digit numbers which are divisible by 3.